Tell me basically, you know, I, I remember reading the scripture about like how the world supposed to belong to Satan. Uh -huh. And, you know, like the real us is our spiritual us, and we just kind of like traveling in this shell fulfilling an obligation, right? Yeah. But, in a way, my thing was like, man, I've read these many different books. Uh, this is by Robert Green. I mean, yeah, Robert Green. Uh, I think Napoleon Hill called Out With the Devil. Um, them two books particularly, and they kind of touched on this, but it's, it's about basically the uh, attainment of wealth in this in this world, like in this world, and the kind of things you basically have to do to get that right. And it was a thinking that, you know how they say money is evil or whatever, and you think like some people you gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta just mess up with people to become successful. And when you try to do right, you know what I'm saying? It seems like it just don't work right. It's just like, you gotta mess up with somebody. This is what I was telling you know, my friend yesterday. I was like, man, you really, I said, I really believe now that you really, it's like you cannot really have attain the things of this world, not like in abundance, not like in the way you want it, not like, you know, in the idea of what we call to be wealthy or to be successful. You can't attain the things of this world trying to be right, trying to be, you know, right all the time, trying to be good to people, trying to I always agree. do the I things agree. that your heart compels you to do. You know what I'm saying? I say it's either you're going to have, you're going to either help people all the time and, 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 and follow your heart to people all the time. And, you got family, you got friends, you got the whole world, everybody needs something. So it's like, you either gonna be doing that all the time, or it's gonna be some time where you really gonna have to be selfish and don't even think about people no more. And just think about you and, and just those immediate ones, like your kids or something that's close to you, and strive strictly for you. Because when you just really focus and get your mind made up, that you finna go up for the things of this world that you want to be in a certain position to do certain things you wanna do, or to be in a certain, you know, just place in life to secure you first, when you really make your mind up to do that, man, it's, it's, you're gonna have to really like, I mean, it's said all the time in many different ways. You're going to have to box people out. You're going to have to leave people alone. you got to leave people behind. All that. And, and the thing is that people are going to be mad at you. People going to, it's not going to like you. People going to say you stole them out. People are going to say you forgot about them. People are going to say all that kind of stuff. And this is why I say that you can't, you can't get there being right. It's going to, your heart may even say, I should help the person. My, your heart may even say, I, but you're not going, people will all, the more you get, the more people are going to want from you. That's and right. if you just follow your heart to want to help everybody to touch, to reach your hand out, man, you gonna, it's like you're not going to ever really get there. You're not going to never really get to, you know, beyond where you are. It because every time you climb up a few ladders, more hands going to reach out and you follow your heart, you're going you gonna to just stay. You're going to just be doing this back and forth thing the whole time, you know. And so... You know, it's just that's this is one thing I, I had to realize. It's like when you, even like for those, you know, people who are Christians and try to follow the the, 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 the ways of Jesus and, and so on and decide people who do that right and really any religious belief. I think it, when you just really look at the teachings, it, it, it kinda like those the prophets or whatever examples, they didn't have material wealth. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you to really be like to be unselfish is to to not even want none of that, you know what I'm saying? To be unselfish, you can't want none of that. You just, it's just, it's why even like in the, in the story about the Jesus and the disciples, they had to leave their charge, they had to leave all that behind to even walk with him, you know what I'm saying? They left they, they left their path, they left everything that they were supposed to have and things they wanted just to walk with him, so they couldn't give material things to them. They gave service, they gave works, you know what I'm saying? And so it's like, if you look at that example, it's like you either gonna have that you're gonna have, you know what I'm saying, the service you're gonna do for people in that way, or you're gonna get, get to a certain level in life and you can better help people, help people financially. But when you get to that point, I mean, people still gonna trip with you and don't like you. And, Cause you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna have stump over a lot of people, man. I just really believe that, but you know, it's not to say one is bad and the other worse or whatever. It's just what I was thinking about, man. So, yeah, so, so would you think that's probably why he did mention that quote in the Bible where he says that let not your arms be done before men in order to gain gratification or glory to just to be seen. You don't think he was kind of, you know, correlating to what you were just saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, I think that, man, it's just, it's kind of deep. Like I said, just because this whole thing, I just started thinking yeah. about, like, yesterday, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. or day before yesterday or something. Mm -hmm. I understand. And, I mean, I do, I just believe, now I just, I remember even a movie called Kidnapping Mr. Heineken. 
and the, and the dude said, you know, I'm, and I'll, you know, just to be coming to a closure, uh, he said, uh, you either gonna have a lot of friends or you gonna have a lot of wealth, but you, you ain't gonna have both. You know what I'm saying? He, that was Mr. Heineken told him, he kidnapped him, he tried to offer him a million dollars to let him go. And the dude with Lord said, friends, I'm not gonna betray my friends. I'm gonna stick with my friends. And Mr. Heineken said, I applaud you. He said, you gonna have a lot of friends. He said, but one thing for sure, you, you, you either gonna have a lot of friends or you gonna have a lot of money, but you ain't gonna have both. And I believe that, bro. You know what I'm saying? How they say it, lonely the tower, whatever. I mean, I really believe that. It ain't just because you can't.